Hi guys, Snake Dodder here. Welcome back to Yog Adventures. This is the uh, second video I've produced on the game. Um, this game, I don't know if you've seen the first one, but it was uh, uh, kickstarted a few months back. Um, and we're now getting the early founders are getting access to um, the pre-alpha builds. This is pre-alpha 0.04, which is uh, has was was superseded quickly um, because we had, or sorry, 0.03 was. Uh, was, was superseded quite quickly. There was a few bugs in that, so uh, we've missed out on that video, but we've gone straight to this one. Um, there's a few new things on here, but the main thing is shaped, shaped building and shaped crafting, which is uh, which is quite fantastic. As you can see on the uh, on the floor here, when you click on the ground, you've got a little circular, um, little circular little icon coming up on the screen. And when let me just uh, see, if we can show you something better. Let me just get some items to build with. Let me just throw a few bombs down. And take some trees down, get some wood. The best thing to do is show you on there. Right, there's some wood. Get some more. Well, we're on uh, almost creative, so makes little odds really. Okay, right. So let's go into bring up the inventory. I we'll see we've got some wood there on four. So let's get the wood. As you can see, it's a it's a, a circular kind of globe figure, moment, which is which is our square square blocks. And when you click on those, you get a load of square square buildings. Square blocks come up. Now, if I let's just get in a view, we can see. If I then press the T button, the block changes to a square, which doesn't seem to do anything for some strange reason. Might be a bug. When you click on the, when you click on the, and again, you get a little triangular kind of shape, which gives you some nice little angled blocks for roofing, maybe, or for ramps, whatever you want to do, I don't know if he run, runs up the ramp does he? Yes he does, so that would be a nice little ramped ramped entrance way to a building or whatever. Press T again, it just alters the, the angle of the thing, so it's going around 90 degrees um, and you know just does it that way, then press it again it goes around to flips it over 180 degrees so you're getting some upward angles maybe for some, some roof tiles, some little uh, maybe underneath the roof and some angled like the upside down steps work on, on Minecraft which is quite a nifty little thing, quite like it. It's a bit fiddly to keep going around getting the different the different uh, angles, but obviously once you start playing it a lot. So you see you've got a nice little peaked um, angle on that building there, that little bit of block there. So let's uh, press it once more, see what we get. I think we've still got some angled, what have we got here? Yeah, still got the same shape at the moment. Okay, now this one is the steps. So again, very similar to Minecraft in as much as you can get some Good steps going on, but again, same same issue. It doesn't work where depending on the angle that you click on, like on Minecraft, which I think would be quite useful if I'm honest. If anyone that's watches this that's in a power uh, at a winter kill, I don't know if Chris watches these videos or not, but um, that would be quite a nice little feature. So you can rather than have to keep clicking on um, it, each angle, you could you could just click and it will change. Maybe by holding down a shift key or something. I may be doing something wrong. It may be already available, in which case I'm sure. Someone will tell me, but there's the steps. Again, press it again, changes the angle. This does the upside down ones. Again, very similar to Minecraft. And there's another one. Let's see what else we've got here. Let's see what some square ones here. These are the square blocks again. I think we might have gone right, right round now to the. I know these are still upside down steps. Big pardon. Oh, we've got ha ha. Here we are. Look, these are good ones, right? So we've now got like little or barrels almost, but little sort of hexagonal blocks which are quite nice for pillars and stuff I'm wondering if this would change into it does there we go so it doesn't quite work texture wise but you press it again and you get um, let's just fly up and go up a bit so you get some nice columns it'd be nice if the sort of connected connected textures would work like it does in Minecraft on TechIt that hopefully will come in the future future build but that's quite a nice little feature so you can get some good columns and stuff some different shapes other than having everything square which I think is its main its main plus at the moment over Minecraft um, let's press it again what do we get now this is the upside down one of the columns the base the base unit there so again you can build some stuff at the top of a building uh, and once again we've gone to the square blocks let's see what else we've got there's anything else we can it's invisible they do actually, which is a bit odd. These are the angled ones again. Well that seems to be all of them. As you can see there's a, a quite a wide varied selection of, uh, of blocks there and I think they all apply to all the different different textures. So this is the grass one. If you dig out some cobblestone, 
just dig out some of this a minute. Let's just go back to one and get the mine pickaxe. Let's get some cobble. Let's go drop down to the floor. There we go. We've got some stone. Some stone there. So that will be the same again. So they all work with all the different all the different things. But yeah, I think it's quite an interesting little addition to the game. Something more than Minecraft offers. Um, something that I think will give map builders and sort of building guys that might be making these fantastic um, buildings that you see in Minecraft at the moment give them a big scope to do something a bit different um, yeah I'm, I'm quite excited um, so you see what the next what the next alpha build brings hopefully some more mobs um, will be nice to see some of them soon so we can feature some of those um, I haven't gone around too far on the map yet but to see if there's any other types of types of creatures but um, there was the frog kind of guy that I featured in the last video which drops quite a few different things but um yeah I might have a go at building a little uh, structure later and put that on in another video but for now um, we'll call it a day here and uh, yeah we'll see you again soon for the next part so for now guys I've been Snake Doctor and we'll see you soon cheers bye bye